Hello and welcome to another video of Cornerstones of Math. And this video is very special for me because it is the 100th official video of my channel. So in this special 100th video, I am going to do something kind of special. That is, I am going to find the least common multiple or LCM of all natural numbers from 1 to 100. Okay, first of all, you might already know that in order to find the least common multiple, you must first find the prime factors of the given numbers. Which means we have to find all the prime factors of the natural numbers from 1 to 100. And in doing so, we use the famous sieve of Eratosthenes, an algorithm to find all prime numbers up to a certain number. An ancient algorithm, of course, but quite useful in the small range of numbers like this. So the algorithm works like this. First, delete 1. Next, delete all multiples of 2 except 2 itself. Alright, so all multiples of 2 are deleted. Next, delete all multiples of 3 except 3 itself. Then we have these numbers deleted. Next is 4, but all multiples of 4 are already deleted. Since 4 is 2 times 2, so they are also the multiples of 2. So we can just skip 4. Next, delete all multiples of 5. Next is 6, but we also skip 6, since 6 is 2 times 3, so all multiples of 6 are already deleted. Next, delete all multiples of 7. Okay, now if we find the next undeleted number, it is 11. But we don't need to check multiples of 11 at all. Actually, when using the sieve of Eratosthenes to find all prime numbers up to a natural number n, we only need to check up to square root of n, in this case, square root of 100, which is 10. The strict proof of this property is not difficult, but takes some time, so in here I will only briefly explain. When we think about the multiples of 11, for example, it can be expressed as 11 times k, where k is a natural number other than 1. But here, the multiples where k equals 2, 3, 4, and up to 10 are already deleted when we were checking the multiples of 2, 3, 4, etc. and 10. So the smallest undeleted multiple of 11 must be 11 times 11, but this value is 121, which is greater than 100. So if we have already checked the multiples of square root of n, in this case 10, we do not need to proceed further with larger numbers. So at last, these numbers are left, and these are the prime numbers from 1 to 100. Therefore, using these prime numbers, the least common multiple that we are looking for must be expressed as 2 to the power of some natural exponent n2 times next prime number is 3, so we have 3 to the power of some natural exponent n3. Next, we have 5 to the power of some natural exponent n5. Then we have 7, then 11, then 13, all the way up to the last prime number, 97 to the power of some natural exponent, 97. All of these exponents are natural numbers, of course. Here, prime factors that are greater than 10 cannot have the exponents greater than or equal to 2, since 11 square is already 121, which is greater than 100, as you have already seen. This means that these exponents must be 1. Therefore, this number is given as 2 to the power of n2, 3 to the power of n3, 5 to the power of n5, 7 to the power of n7, then just 11, 13, 17, all the way up to 97. So we only have to determine n2, n3, n5, and n7. In order to determine n2, we must find the natural numbers from 1 to 100 that contains most 2s as its prime factors. Recall that 2 to the power of 6 is 64, so it is less than 100, but 2 to the power of 7 is 128, which is greater than 100. Therefore, this n2 must be 6. Similarly, 3 to the power of 4 is less than 100, but 3 to the power of 5 is greater than 100. Hence, n3 equals 4. If we do with 5, we can see that 5 cubed becomes greater than 100. Hence, n5 is 
2 and with 7, we can see that n7 is also 2. Therefore, we have 2 to the power of 6 times 3 to the power of 4, 5 to the power of 2, which means 5 square, and 7 square, then 11 times 13 times 17 times 97. More exactly, if we write all the prime factors, we have this number. If we calculate this with tools like Wolfram Alpha, we obtain this number. This is a 41 digit number, and if we express this with scientific notation with three significant figures, it is approximately 6.97 times 10 to the power of 40. This number is also read 69 duodecillion, 720 undecillion, 375 decillion, 229 nonillion, 712 octillion, 477 septillion, 164 sextillion, 533 quintillion, 808 quadrillion, 935 trillion, 312 billion, 303 million, 556,800. And next time, if someone asks you what is the least common multiple of all the natural numbers from 1 to 100, you can now comfortably and confidently say that it is this number. And that's all for this video. If you actually give it a like and press subscribe button in this 100th video of mine, it will be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video.